Hey guys, so today I am really excited to share this video with you all because it is sort of an update to my spring wardrobe, which I do sort of in a different way. I do it with accessories. I have really good basics and that is my whole like found, I was gonna say foundation, fashion like philosophy is to invest in good basics or don't invest, find some that are very affordable. Um, like I have, I, I love Everlane tees, I love just simple t-shirts, things that aren't super spendy. And a um, couple of like go-to jeans from like some distressed white skinnies, um, some leggings that are just easy to throw on, you know, maybe even some shorts, but I really love like distressed denim and some boyfriend jeans and things like that. Um, shoes I'm good on. If I do buy any new ones, I usually stick with affordable brands like from Target or things like that where I've showed you guys some uh, new ones that I picked up for, from Target. But I like to update my wardrobe with accessories and I like to do so with affordable ones. So I'm going to share with you all a haul from Bubble Bar. I got some amazing things, seriously, like the best things I think that I have ever gotten from there. Um, very nice quality. All my Bobble Bar stuff has really held up. Really good quality, really affordable. I was gonna combine this with a Target haul of sort of a similar nature. A couple pair of shoes, um, some tops, a hat, and some um, jewelry items. And so I think I've got too much to talk about in this one, so I'm gonna separate them. So later in the week that Target haul will come up, which is really good because I've got a really good beauty item as well. You guys really like the last Target haul, so. And yeah, we are going to get started. So don't feel like you have to like invest in a whole new wardrobe. Just get some good new accessories and you're good to go. Um, so first, I'll talk about the necklace that I am wearing. I'm gonna try to try on, I will try on everything. Um, oh, I'll put on this ring too because this is pretty. Okay, so um, this necklace that I'm wearing, I'm not sure the exact names of them, but I will uh, find them and I will link them all below so that you can go right to them because it's kind of hard to find stuff sometimes. Um, but I'm all about layering jewelry, layering like dainty gold necklaces. That's what I've been into lately and that's what I've really done for years and years now. I love to get like dainty um, gold necklaces and layer them and sometimes every day that can be like okay I'm gonna wear this one that, you know putting on a million different necklaces and so I like that they've got a ton of like layered options and I really loved this one it's got sort of like a uh, little tag type thing and then this one that's a little different and then a longer one and so um, this one has some little stones on it as well so I really love this if my voice sounds a little scratchy I have some sinus issues going on so I apologize but um but I really really love this necklace very dainty very pretty and I love that I can just keep it in my closet and just grab it and put it on and it looks like you've really sort of layered a bunch of different necklaces so it's pretty cool um, next are these bracelets. I really like these and I honestly had them in and out of my cart a million times and I almost didn't buy them um, and I'm so glad that I did this. These are some of my favorite things. They're a set and I think they're called like the Lunar. Again, I'll uh, link to them. But they're two different bracelets and the reason I kept removing them was because I thought they were going to be like round bangles that were just... But I love that these are oval and maybe that was in the description. Um, but you see they clasp like that, which love. Um, and I, I love this one. It's, uh, I believe it's called Lunar, and it's like the phases of the moon. You can kind of see, and then this one is stars. So I just think those are so nice looking paired together, and, um, really fun and comfortable. They don't, like, flop around. That's why I don't like a lot of bangles. I'm so used to my nice cuff bracelets from the current custom that are, like, um, you know, they stay put. So I love an oval bracelet. I got this ring, which I'm obsessed with. I got it a little larger, my middle finger um, is a little larger. So I got it in a larger size so I could wear it on my middle finger. And um, I really like that. Oh, I gotta put my ring back on. Uh, Olivia scratched me, like right where my, re she was, um, I was feeding her and she like dug into my hand with her little nails. So I, um, you know how they do before they figure out that their hands are there. <laughs> so. Um, yeah, see, because I wanted to be able to still wear my ring on that. So, I love that look. I think that's so pretty. I just love, like, gold rings, and, um, it's very pretty. So, so I will remove this necklace so that I can show you the other ones. So, you can kind of see this a little better. It's just one clasp and then the three necklaces. So, I am going to wear this one today because I like the way it looks with this top. 
Unless if something else is just amazing, which it might be. Uh, next, oh my gosh, I love this. I'm so glad that I got it in the, I guess you'd call it gunmetal. Uh, it came in a clear, and I believe it came like in a golden clear. Anyways, so it's a Y necklace, and I love the shape of a Y necklace. It's just really nice. So you can sort of adjust the length if you want to wear it sort of up a little higher. I would wear mine right about there. I like right there at the um, right at the line, the neckline of your top. So I love that. It's so pretty. And it's very like substantial feeling. It's not like cheap feeling. So um, really pretty. Really pretty. This is from um, ILY Couture or whatever. I'll link to that too. Uh, but wow, that is so pretty. I'm really impressed with that. Oh, I'll show you this bracelet too. I think I'll wear this today too. Um, just really fun. It's like those iridescent sort of almost like rainbowish stones. It's just a stretchy bracelet and um, I thought that would be kind of fun. You can kind of see it looks sort of fun and different mixed with any bracelets really. I'm going to wear that today as well. Very pretty all these together. I like that a lot. I did another Y necklace and this one is a tassel. I have been loving my spike necklace so much and I'm wearing the heck out of it. Um, that I thought I would get another one. <laughs> so this one is so pretty and it's a tassel. This one you can adjust the length on as well. Um, you could probably wear it a little longer than that. But um, super pretty. Love that. And it's a fun tassel. It's not like a, um, some tassels are really giant and like gaudy and sometimes kind of cheap looking. Like I always think of like curtain tie backs when I see those, like in like a gaudy house or something. Um, but isn't that pretty? It's just very like simple. And then right here, that oh, is it backwards? Can't see. Ah, oh, it's backwards. But you can see um, it has like the stones right there, kind of like look like pave-ish, you know, like inlaid like that. So really pretty. And then you can even, for these necklaces, you can put them down in your shirt like that if you don't want. I And I have been doing that for Olivia because she will grab at my um, necklaces. So, especially that spike one because it's dangerous. So I've been wearing them down inside my shirt and then if I go in somewhere, I'll flip them out. Um, so I really like that a lot. I may even like that better than the spike one. And then these like this aren't really good for layering because they come up already so high. I guess you could do like another one if you wanted to layer something shorter. Um, but you may remember in the past I had that Rebel pendant from uh, Stella and Dot that I wore all the time. Well it finally broke and um, so I wanted one that was kind of similar but um, see and this one would be ideal for layering because this isn't a Y necklace like it doesn't come here and then go down. It's just a really long pendant and so I can layer this with all kinds of stuff and um, or just by itself it's so nice and see it has just a single stone at the bottom and um, it's really shiny pretty gold so I thought that looked really nice. I like that even better than the rebel pendant honestly it's so pretty and then like I said you can layer it and I bought this necklace um, for layering and this comes in all different lengths so I'm glad I got the short one because that's really what I wanted but sometimes like if you're gonna layer like a pendant like on a chain or something um, you don't want to mix too many of those so you might want one that looks a little different and this one is one of those that has the stones all over the chain so that I thought was really pretty for layering I should call this video like layering jewelry because I feel like that's all <laughs> that's like what we're talking about oh and then this is so cute um, these are the initial pendants they're just very understated and I got this one in O for Olivia and um, it's just the O is very understated and it goes to this side so I could even sort of make that let's see I could layer that like with this you know um, or just do it instead of this one. I think it's the same length, but I can probably stagger the lengths a little bit. Really pretty and simple, and their layering necklaces always hold up really well. They're very inexpensive, um, but yeah, I really like this combo. This is really nice. Now I kind of want to wear this one today, but I have one more necklace to show you. Layering jewelry, I know there's like videos and people, you know, make a big deal about it, but it's just so easy. Like, just literally take anything that you've got um, you can even mix metals. I kind of like to stick with the same, um, I don't even have to, that's easy. I don't even have to unhook that. 
Um, I like to, to stick with the same color metal though for me. Even though like I'll mix metals that I'm wearing, um, I like to, if I'm going to layer, I like my necklaces, I like to stick with the same. Um, that's just so easy. Don't, don't put too much thought into it. And I think that's what makes it look prettier, or pr prettiest. That's what makes it look nice, is if you, uh, it just looks so effortless. Um, this is so cool. It, let's see. Um, so it's just another one that you can put on like that, and then you can sort of pull it, and it is a, it's like a chain like that. Let's see, I might want it a little higher. So yeah, ooh, pretty. I like this a lot. So what I would do with this is probably, see, that just looks fun and simple. Um, I'd probably add one more necklace. So, I, ooh, the O would look pretty. You know, just very simple. Put something up there. Then I got these, and out of everything, I'm not 100% sure on these, but I think that they'll be kind of fun. I'll show them to you up close. I'm more of like a studying wearer. Uh, but I thought these were so pretty. So they look like that, and around each shape, they have um, like sort of pave stones in different colors. So this one's blue, pink, sort of yellowish pink, uh, clear, and blue. And um, yeah, so let me put this on and see. Let's put it in my second hole so we can, I don't want to take my earrings out. Um, I haven't worn earrings in my second hole for years, but it just will never grow up so it's kind of ooh I like them actually I think that's I would not wear them in my second hole let's not get crazy um but I like that that's pretty I'm actually I'm actually happy with these <laughs> this is nice like if you were just wearing you know very plain top and uh, nothing really up here I would if I'm gonna do like a, ne a big necklace then I'll do studs which is why I mostly wear studs because I'm, I mostly like to wear necklaces um, then if I'm going to wear something like this, then I will usually go pretty bare. Maybe just like that O pendant or nothing at all. Um, maybe put your hair up or something. Really pretty. So yeah, I am glad that I got those. I'm glad that I'm not second guessing myself after trying those on. So, uh, that is it for this bobble bar haul. Um, I hate that I couldn't combine both videos, but that's okay. That's good because some people may be interested in one and not the other, whatever. So um, I will film that Target haul. It will be up later in the week. I have an Ulta haul as well. I have some things that I picked up at Ulta, a couple things that I did want to share with you. Um, the NYX contour palette I want to talk about. So that video may go up next week. Or I may mix it up and do the Target one next I don't know. We will figure it out. But either way, you will get that Target video sometime soon. So um, I'm going to go ahead and film it, though, so that I don't forget. But I hope that you guys had a wonderful weekend. Thank you so much for watching, for all of the sweet comments. I just really appreciate you guys so much. And um, if you haven't done the Instagram contest that I'm holding with Colleen Rothschild for the iPad mini, then check out my recent video, my last video on the skincare stuff and um, join that because it's really, really fun. Um, I'm having so much fun looking at your, your guys' uh, pictures and all of your skincare essentials, and I've even gotten a couple of ideas from them as well. So um, definitely added a couple things to my list. So thank you guys so much for watching again, and I will talk to you all very, very soon. Bye.